I will teach whether you like it or not. I will teach. Okay. Today's devotion it is the simplicity of Jesus Christ. The devil is a liar. You've decided to cut. <laughs> Okay, don't you worry. Let's sit you down. It is fine. Trust me on that part. You know, you chili chijia kogu. Oba chagala, oba te chagala. Chijia kogu. The simplicity of Jesus Christ. Um, open your Bibles in First John. Hope you attended your classes as a must. I will teach. Play around with my things. You don't know who you're playing with. But you will find out soon or later. Tia, I know who I am. I'm walking in park. I'm walking miracles. I live a life of favor. That I know who I am. I'm walking in power. Okay, first John chapter 2 and verse 8. I'll start from up. My little children, believers, dear ones, I'm writing you these things so that you will not sin and violate God's law. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate who will intercede for us with the Father. Jesus Christ, the righteous, the upright, the just one, who confirms to the Father's will in every way. I don't know whether my salt is fine or it needs a pimping. Let's see what we can do about that. Because I don't want to shout out of respect for others. You will forgive me when the environment decides to, to be against you throughout. All you have to do is just try, my Jesus. You realize Jesus sees. I will teach. You like it or you don't like it, I will teach. Trust me in that part. Yep. Thursday. <laughs> Today is Thursday. It's okay.
my little children believers dear ones i'm writing you these i'm writing you these things so that you will not sin and violate god's law and if anyone sins we have an advocate who will intercede for us with the father jesus christ the righteous and upright the, the just one who confirms to the father's will in every way purpose thought and action and he that same jesus is the pro pro propitiation for our sins the atoning sacrifice that holds back the wrath of god that would otherwise be directed as us at us because of our sinful nature our wild worldliness our worldliness our lifestyle and not for ours alone but also for the sins of all believers throughout the whole world and this is how we know daily by experience that we have come to know him to understand him and be more deeply acquainted with him if we habitually keep focused on his passage and obey his commandments teachings whoever says i have come to know him but does not habitually keep focused on his passage and obey his commandments teachings is a liar and the truth to the divine word is not in him but whoever habitually keeps his word and obeys his passage and treasures his message in its entirety entire entirety in him the love of god has truly been perfected it is completed and has reached maturity by this wish we know for certain that we are in him whoever says he lives in christ that is whoever says he has accepted him as god and savior ought as a moral obligation to walk and conduct himself just as he walked and conducted himself jesus beloved i am not writing a new commandment to you but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning the old commandment is the message which you have had before from us on the other hand i am writing a new commandment to you which is true and realized in christ and in you because the darkness of moral blindness is clearing away the true light the revelation of god in christ is already shining the one who says he is in the light in consistent fellowship with christ and yet habitually hates works against his brother in christ is in the darkness until now the simplicity of jesus many times many preachers have complicated christ like people are too even scared to get saved because those who are already there have complicated things with christ it's about i believe in my heart I confess with my mouth. That is it. And when you believe the first day, you don't stop there. A life of the where a life in salvation is believing everything you believe and you confess. That is all. When you believe, you confess. When you're given a word, you confess the word. You believe the word, then you confess the word. That is how simple it is. But people who are already there have complicated it. That Jesus is too complicated. But the Bible says you believe with your heart and you confess with your mouth. When I tell you that you will be fine, it is your job to believe that you will be fine. 
Then you start confessing it. You proclaim the word. It is you to put power in the word. That is how simple it is. You don't need to put in a lot of science. Then I find you putting in a lot, a lot, and you're fighting. We are in coronavirus, but many of us are worked up. Everything you see is corona. Like you've hijacked the season and you're making sure everyone pays for their mistakes they've done in your life. Mm. Your frustration, you've used the situation, you've hijacked the situation and you're hiding behind the situation and you're making everything around you and everyone around you peaceless. And it's about corona. We need to get out this corona. You, like, you've hijacked the situation and you're doing whatever it takes to be hard. Because you yourself, you complicated the Jesus you got to know. You want to say that Jesus cannot provide food. Now you're in the house and you're crying. Open! The same Bible you read, God used birds and Elijah got food. You think he cannot do it now? It is because we complicated things of God. That is why they don't work for many of us. That is why many people have gone into Scientology. Everything for you it is science. There are people I've worked with and they are very difficult. But I thank God who has taught me to learn people. But now it is as simple as it comes. All I need to understand is Esther wants this and this and this and this. How do I work well with Esther? Without me fighting and pointing fingers. Sometimes she's the one who's right. I'm the one who's wrong. And because I complicated everything, all the time Esther is bad. The one way I, when I meet people, I'm like, Lord, there's something special about this person. But they are, they are complicated. How do I go about this? And most of the time, it's like, give them time, give them a benefit of doubt, understand who they are and how they work. And I've had fun. Like, because I love peace a lot, I'm like, Esther, how long are you here? Is this my destiny? It's not my destiny. Good. You're here for a short time, right? How do you live here peacefully? I love peace. The Bible says that blessed are peacekeepers because they are children of God. When I know that my father hates people who lie, I'm like, how do I keep in peace with him? Tell him the truth, whether he likes it or not. Tell him the truth. Someone asked, asked me a question. That guy is complicated. How do you guys stay with him? I just laughed. Do I have a choice? He's my father. I have to stay with him either way. Same thing with Jesus. Understand who Jesus is. Through the Holy Spirit. How does Jesus want things? The problem we have as men, we are selfish. It's about us. When things are about you, they're going to be very hard. With Jesus, walk in righteousness. And you'll get everything you want. <laughs> People say, yeah, yes, Tevi Kola. It is because you are selfish. The only time you talk about Jesus, the only time you pray a lot is when you have problems and you want a way out. And you tried lying, it is not working anymore. Mm. Whenever you lie, they cut you. You know, if you want to be a good liar, you keep a lie with a lie. You can imagine if a 50-year-old comes out and all their life was a lie.
when I went to get my my birth certificate, <laughs> Esther, this guy gives me a copy. They they are like, I I, I present my other things. I got a, a a small thing. They call it what? A cut chart. They gave it to me from. Uh, from um, Ministry of Internal Affairs and are supposed to take it to the hospital and they get me the hospital, the short birth certificate, then the, the other side they can make me a full one. So I go to the hospital and I tell this guy, I am here uh, to inform the hospital, I need a birth certificate. He's like, oh, okay. Then uh, he's like, he checks in the book. He did not take time because we don't take time. We are not observant. All we want is to give you a birth certificate. When he looked in the book, he saw a different date for my birth. Now, that different date. <laughs> Those who celebrate Halloween, that is the Halloween day. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. October babies, hello. <laughs> I told him that's not my birth. He said it is your bust that's what is in the book i told him that is not my bust he made a mistake of shouting at him when everyone is watching me i hate being shouted at you can slap me but shouting at you doesn't work well with me when you shout at me i keep quiet and i was sick because <laughs> when i talk the words can't come out very well I got frustrated because now I couldn't even defend myself with, with talking. <laughs> what the devil did when I got a facial paralysis, he cut off the mouth that can speak. I could not defend myself. I cried instead. It became my tool. And people were looking at me. I got the book. I, I, he walked away. There's a young man there. You know you people, when you are in your workplaces, you feel like you're good. I told you, be very careful. Respect people, no matter what. Because the one you disrespect today is the one going to help you ahead of you. I looked at this man and I'm like, I was like, you know what, Esther? I said, he said, hey, just like, keep quiet. I got the book. I looked at the book. People, you need wisdom. If I didn't have wisdom, we would go with the wrong date. And that was going to cost me another passport in the shortest time possible. This is how we complicate things. I'm trying to explain how church has complicated Jesus. You make people, and why some people, pastors or prophets, have many people than other people is because there are things that were neglected and we made Jesus look complicated. Yet with Jesus, you don't need to complicate things. The man, it was a simple thing, but he complicated everything. I told him, First we talked and he told me a wrong date. Then I told him, you want to tell me my mother lied to me, my date of birth. And he was just shouting at me. He refused to come down and we get on the same level. Me, when I see that I cannot be on the same level with you, I look stupid and for you look bright. I kept quiet. I got the book. They have a big book. <laughs> it is old. It has our names, the date you're born, the time, me and the numbers. You don't separate us. The date, the time, your weight, your names, your pa your mother, and the nurse. Uh, the midwife. I got the book out in a lot of anger. I was like, I need to be sure. Was she the one right or me wrong? I got the book. I scanned the book when he was those ends and he's like, hey, when we go mazengo, you let me know what we do for you. I'm like, you're not doing for me the wrong things. 
actually he was talking and i was looking in the book and i was like i don't care what he's saying right now i need to be sure you're giving me the right birth certificate i'm i wasn't about to pay money to go and cough and uh, make another birth passport why i changed my birth certificate is because the old certificate had my name as a single n and in the u.s a natural with a single n and a natural with a double n those are two people that is how unique I am. <laughs> yes. It is not me. It is Mr. Joko in my primary school who went and discovered that all nine names will start with a double N. I adopted it. That is Esther for you. Because uh, when I adopted it, it worked. Why? I had a classmate who was called Nachimera E. And I was Nachimera Esther. If she writes Nachimera E, I write Nachimera E. We exchange our results. That one, I was like, mm, mm. I scanned the book. When I looked at that time, the time saved me. How do you use your time? How do you use your time? Time saved me. It saved me going to back to get another another passport it saved me from believing that it was a lie i asked him and that that was the first baby of the day eh, eh, the first all the time <laughs> i was the first baby because i wondered why there was a line above my name i wondered why there was a line Before you rush out to tell people the highest to be cool, huh? you need to be careful and wise. If you are yes to be cool, because you're not consistent. Just try, my Jesus. You realize, Jesus. I asked him, I stood up. With all my annoyance after being being embarrassed. I didn't even say excuse me. A baby given birth to at 1 a.m. is given birth on what day? He turned very fast. Everyone looked at me. Grabbed the book. Took off into the small office. And he had to talk to his supervisor again. And out of anger, he could not apologize. After embarrassing me around, now, when you go out there and telling people, they are still have careful. The problem is with you, it is not with Jesus. Jesus is as simple as it comes. You believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. Jesus is light. But because you want to try out your way, you are in the dark. And when I look at your life, you have a lot of regrets. I was giving an example trying to explain how we have failed with Jesus because we are not observant, we are not careful, and there is no wisdom. We just run for September is a month for wisdom. Back to the scripture. On the other hand, I am writing a new commandment. That is 1 John chapter 2 and verse 8 which is true and re realized in Christ and in you because the darkness of moral blindness is clearing away and the true light, the revelation of God in Christ is already shining. What the devil does is to blind you with the things you've done using your own energy. 
with Jesus, the Bible is saying, wait upon the Lord. Rest in the Lord. But you're like, they're telling us, rest in, wait in the Lord, rest in the Lord. But to you, your mind tells you resting or waiting, you sit there and wait. You've not gone deeper to find out what waiting am I waiting. I handled the class of waiting upon the Lord. Waiting. When you are in the waiting room, what do you do? You shout. Most of you, we are in coronavirus. Your main part is to shout and make a lot of noise. That you're shouting and everyone, wherever they are, they can hear that Uganda is shouting. Because we have failed to trust Jesus, who is as simple as it comes. The only thing Jesus wants is you to go back to the basics. You confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. When you got saved like this at the recruiting center, when you confessed, you left it there. And you started moving with your head. You left Jesus behind. With Jesus, you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that your love will be agenda. Because Jesus is light. But you cannot mix light and darkness. Our lives, we've controlled our lives and decided to replace Christ with our energy. Ayamba ye yamba. When he goes back to his word, he's like, I've never said that. You don't have any scripture inside of you because you've done it and it's not working. It is because your relationship with Christ is polluted. I'll give an example. Married people, Amina. <laughs> okay. Those who are dating, you're in love with someone. When you love your father, I love my father so much. I love my mother so much that saga la kubaswaza. We've gone through a lot, and at the end of the tunnel, I don't want to be ashamed. Bible yega manti umano msiru siru avuma ganyenina. When I make bad manners of which many of you already saw the bad manners and shouted it on top of the you know it is my mother that looks like she never sat me down and talked to me and raised me well but i thank my jesus when i decided to say esther now righteousness the lord backed me up and mama wanginata suwala nyoku yita uya suwala four months back or five months back. But trust me in epo mama wangi ya suwala na suwala kanava muko suwala na damuchi suwala. Because when a kid makes a mistake, people relate it with your parents. The Bible says a stupid child when I am bright and I'm shining it is my father when I am stupid it is my mother all the bad manners that you mentioned about me you basically abused my mother. That's what the Bible says. Umana msiru siru afuma ganyo nyi. Bagamba uyu umana tebamu huulija msiru agenda yogira kubandu. That is what it is. You basically disrespected my mother. It is the truth. If it is not the truth, type the... Women know this from today. When your own child makes a mistake, 
you made it together whether your mother was there or not see and then i want to back so i should be one of the biggest examples when you're raising your babies when you're raising your babies be careful because there are some people even when they grow up they still stay babies the mistakes we've made in life each one of us you have really disrespected your mother when you were shining wow 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 hey it is your father that's what the bible says you did not do but because i went and engaged into walking right with christ i'm like lord i've made many mistakes but i am back righteousness availability originality the word of god prayer as a lifestyle i had to separate myself i had to understand that i am different i am unique in his eyes in his image we are different i started to work on myself i'm like okay esther you have a problem but how do you get out of it instead of soaking in it righteousness first repentance first forgiveness when i went into that he got my back and covered me up the army uniform has a cover in the back jesus himself became the cover he got hit for my sake he put his back for me he restored back my my joy by putting his back that is how simple things are with christ he didn't know because we don't want to walk right with christ Jesus' things become difficult. What is so wrong with letting go of the wrong things you do? What is so wrong with that? What is so wrong with repentance? What is so wrong with you learn forgive? It's a process. What is so wrong with that? I was moving around <laughs> as usual in the media. Why some people love certain prophets? It's because they never they're never taught about repentance, they're never taught about their bad manners. When these guys go in the Bible like this, all they see is Jesus who gives money. That is all they see. The day Jesus will not give you what you've asked for. And he's like, "Esther, this time round, righteousness that is when you will hate everything around you. That is why some people have 10K people watching them. If yeah, yes, it's about believing in your heart and you confess. But we don't want to do what he wants. All we want is we believe, yes, and confess that Saint in Jakuzifuna. But you don't believe and confess that when you make a mistake, you learn to repent and he forgives you that part. And that is where now things became yes, yes, you don't need to repent and forgive. He uses that to gain a ground in your life and take you out. That is why church looks very difficult. The churches where where they talk about sin that sin is sin and the only sin they talk about do you know the only sin they are talking about sleeping around when you're not married being a thief those are the things they talk about that are sin 
the other things that are killing church they don't talk about them for them they are not seen character is not tackled it is not seen they are like Esther now and Katibia to Gambia to Kutambla ne yes right right I've been sleeping around I stop if you are yes or kiriza kiriza because it is what it is that is how simple it is but there is a part that was neglected and these guys where that part was neglected they run there but where the part is also handled Jesus works it works but to you guys it is this zero right the other side ayamba ye yamba with god you confess and it works but when the time comes and is tired of you confessing and just believing and you're not walking right that is where it is complicated but when me when i look at it that is where it is very simple i've tried it i know it works it is very simple but church also complicates it and condemns it so much you don't give people room to grow why did you go to fish them out chai kakati bintu nange because are you getting me when i started do you remember how i started the things of god work if you are yes we call if you are yes you don't pay money all you do is righteousness believe and confess your relationship makes it simple or hard your relationship makes the love relationship very hard or simple when you fall in love with a man or woman you need to know who they are you need to know how they work you need to know what ticks and what does not tick some of us or many people out there have failed because for us we are selfish it is about us and we love comparing you say eri mu bukoto lichije nali nge bintu yali bikola na yeno mbaloko Mm -hmm. when i was a muslim things were okay okay but this is it it is complicated because it is about you you forgot that it's about the jesus i think now it's getting out together we will ask the holy spirit to explain more because i think esther is complicating the story more okay let us go in our Bible and you see how simple we can get it. I get in me. Because man, the devil hates righteousness. That is why your mindset was played around with. You opened the door and the devil entered. The Bible says that we overcame the devil with the blood and the testimony. The devil sits in people when they get things they hide before they get them they are around playing around like they go everywhere to pray and seek god to get when they get the devil comes back and is like you know what when you tell people your testimony bagenda kukuroga and remember when your temple is not clean i swear upon the living god you're going to be clogged <laughs> When they bewitch you, you're going, ah, yeah, young enzo, what? Did you attend apostles' class, bond of consecration? You polluted yourself with sin. God consecrated you, but you went and polluted yourself with sin. That is why God's things are complicated. Mm. Thank you, Apostle Bond.
Mm. You've made my class easier. It was getting complicated. Mm. You don't have an assurance with Jesus. Why? Your temple is com is polluted. You need an EMRP, Environmental Management Plan. A force of bond. I love you. You love me. We love you. <laughs> because for you, you, when your temple is not clean, it chases the Holy Ghost. Hence, there is no discernment. I oppose it to me, the kiddies. Yeah. There is no discernment. You don't discern a thing. How will Jesus' things be simple, Mazima Nayetala? Whenever you go to pray, it doesn't work. Why? The temple is polluted. You're no longer consecrated. You don't have any assurance. When you move around, you don't have a chip. Jesus is the chip. The blood of Jesus is the chip. When I look on my surveillance like this, I can't see you. Because you went offline, you decided to pollute your body and use a yamba, ye yamba. Apostle Bunjo, that class should continue. Because the surveillance of Jesus is looking for us, it can't find us. We repress, we re, re, replaced him with sin. Now we are all polluted in coronavirus, hence the season is very bad. The president should open. How could he open the school when the church is closed? Jesus is like, you know, you want the church. You want to die in a war when you are not yet clean. The classes we are attending are helping us to clean ourselves. Then God opens the church. The president has no power over church. It is you who gave him the power. By polluting yourselves. Jesus is a symbol. But they are basics. And the basics are as simple as they come. You don't need to pay money to get them. <laughs> Do you need money to go and bathe? Oh yes, you need money. You have to pay for the water to use to bathe. You have to buy the soap. How much soap is it? Even with 200, 500 shillings, you can get a small thing of soap and shower. No, you don't have popo at home. Your neighbor has a popo. Just ask for the younger one. It produces soap. And you go. For a coronavirus. Kuwanga to sovo la kadiyo dranti o tuu nyirida. Mo coronavirus. You're stinking. And you're crying, I don't have money. My friend. Go and ask your friends and look for that plant. They use and you. Akajidi taka sente meka mwa koku mkwa. You complicated things because it is a yamba ye yamba. In coronavirus, you can still smell good when we can't afford a, a, a you cannot afford it, a deodorant. Jesus gives wisdom, it is for free. But because you lack wisdom, you don't know that you can talk to your neighbor. Agama zigemeri gewa yuwa mchovo uga yuwa basave chukurokomba. If your neighbor is as good as you talk about your neighbor, sharing is caring. In coronavirus, you support everyone around. Don't just tell them about Jesus. The Bible says, For God so loved. Hey, Apostle Mitala sent you for that verse. But not the Bible, but the righteousness is the heart of Jesus. 
You cannot say you love me when you can't give me. When he loved us, he gave us his only. Who of you can give us your son? Who? It is only Pastor Jessica who gave us her husband. I tell you, Neko, who gives you their husband just like you did? Mama, come up, Womoks. Yes, Wakwa Gara, Akuzabuto, the Nakam, Yibanang, the Kikikino, September. September babies, may the Lord bless you. But as the Lord is blessing you, the higher you go. Don't forget. Higher level. Nestanya take a muji to check you out all the time. Make sure that temple is not polluted. Make sure. Make sure you put the EMP in play. September babies. Because it's not yet done with you. The devil will stop looking for you until the day Jesus comes back. For him, his job is to work 24-7. He doesn't want anyone to go to heaven. He knows what's in heaven. For you, you don't you know. You just hear stories of which you're like, what are you Now we are Because your temple, you're not consecrated anymore. You polluted yourself. With the sin, ayamba ye yamba, or gamble no roller makes you polluted. Wear your mask. <laughs> it is time to wear the mask of the Holy Spirit in coronavirus so that you don't spread your virus. The season is a spiritual, but because you don't discern a thing. First John chapter 2 and verse 8 in my local Bible. In my mother tongue, all of you, you have your mother tongue. Don't you? Don't you have a mother? Even if the mother died, they left you with your mother tongue. What are you saying? The mother is an incubator. Hmm. Verse 8 in my local Bible. Natemba wandi kira echiga echida giro. Echidja, echigambo, echa mazima, muye, muye, nemumwe, kubanga, echizikiza, chigua, chigua wo, no musana, ogua mazima, kakano guaka. In COVID-19, Jesus is shining, like, wa, wa, wa. shining, 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 shining. But because you have sin in your body, in COVID-19, it is very dark. There is nothing easy for you because Jesus is complicated in your life. Why? You are polluted. We need an EMP and deal with all the pollution when you implement that EMP. Environmental engineers, hello. I mean environmental practitioners. Implement the EMP and make sure you wear your PPE, the army uniform, right. Stop staying at the recruitment center where we believe with our hearts and confess with your mouth. Walk with it, but make sure that temple is enlisted. Make sure you go through the process of enlisting. That is, make sure when he comes to check your head from a head, the crown of your head to the heel of your foot. You qualify to wear the PPE, personal protective equipment, the armor, the army uniform, the armor of the Lord. Things are hard for you because sin is still lingering around. And your church doesn't talk about sin. Your church, the sin we know is alcohol. Sleeping with more than one man. That is the sin you know. Stealing. That is the sin you know. Going to the club. Because you keep beating those guys who go to the club on a big scale. They even fear to come to church because it is that complicated. You became a vulture. 
But when someone comes out to say, mm -mm, church, nedda, that is not how they love people, ah, oh, you have a disrespecting. And the devil is gaining ground. All you do is fight for power. And you sing that. You've not trained anyone? What kind of leadership skills are those? When others come out, you're busy. Because you cannot see. You cannot afford to see someone bigger than you. Bambi. The part, the class of calling is still on. You're going to tell me who called you into service. Because someone who is called into service, the leadership skills, God gives them to you. But most of you, you don't have any leadership skills. You hijacked positions. Why? If it's seeing a saint, you watch. I can talk. You hijacked the position because you can talk. And your people where you come from don't tell you that it's not you, it's not about you all the time. I see them licking the boot all the time. With Esther, I don't put people in Kabakuri. Where I come from, we all have our strength. And when one comes out like this, we step aside and we rule it for you. We support you. We attend your things. At first it was hard, me and my brother. Because with Esther, I was like, Munange, someone is paying school fees, you go to school. Because my dad stopped paying school fees way back. I'm like, that's someone's energy. You can't play around. I forgot the part of understand your brother. Understand what works for him. Just telling, calling my brother, and I'm like, hi, how are you? How was your day? Did you get something to eat? That is what works for my brother. Not you harassing him around the worst of me. Hey, call it if you want anything out of him. I, it had to take me time to learn my brother. Because we had a fight. You are joking. And he told me that I forced him to do a course he never wanted. I was like, eh, 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 this is it. My family members who were there looked at us. I cried and walked away because I was very annoyed. I looked at him and I'm like, I wish I can eat him up. You said I forced you. But I had in 2010, you can imagine, that's when I got to understand my brother. I, I was like, Esther, slow down. Because there's a time I called him, then he was bold enough this time around. Because now those days I was the one paying school fees. When things became tough, I was now the one paying. He told me, Esther, there is no single day you call me and ask me how I am. Do you know whether I ate or not? Man, you failed your fellow men because it is always about you. What you say is what we take. We don't think about what I think or feel about it. With hair, I love braids. Because I have issues with the heat. I don't like wigs. I don't like weaves. Looking for a way out. Our lives with Jesus, it's looking for a way out. That is why we complicated him. He's like, Esther, find out how I am. But whenever you call me, it's about school, school, school. But now he made me repent. That helped me to start understanding that Esther, it's not about what you want. You need to give the other person an opportunity to know what they want. I am not going to wear heels. I keep telling people, me and heels, we are not friendly. Especially when I don't drive. I find comfort and peace in flat shoes. I love sneakers. When you look at my wardrobe, you will run out. The heels are there. But that is, I'm like, mm -mm. because I know there are some shoes you can wear on a dinner dress and you look, mm -mm. but it's because much quarter we, your mentality says you have to be smart on lean heels. It is a mindset disturbing us. That is why you keep forcing people to do the things you do. 
because to you smartness means wearing heels smartness means putting on a wig smartness means putting on makeup not on a chin so you need to learn to give the other side an opportunity a benefit of doubt at when it comes to Jesus Jesus takes the first priority if you want Jesus to be simple you give Jesus first place religion has always been a controversial subject I'm back in the book because I have to do what you want. Religion has always been a controversial subject. Since the beginning of time, people have argued about doctrinal issues and much blood has been shed in the name of the Prince of Peace. You came with your religion. You brought it in Christ. In Christ, there is no religion. The other side, the mover, the basoma Bible, the baziwa somera. When you go to repent, you don't have it in your head. You're still living in the Old Testament where it was only the high priest. When Jesus came, we can go to the Holy of Holies, but there are things you have to follow when you're going to the Holy of Holies. You never attended the class of the temple, the tabernacle. We failed in Jesus because we are religious. It is the same story. It is the truth. Same thing with my Muslim brothers. I told you Muslims, circumcision is in the Bible. Showering before you go to the mosque is in the Bible. The, the high priest it is in the Old Testament. They used to bathe. Circumcision, I told you, was mainly, they, it was like a stamp. But for righteousness, it was a covenant made. When you go into circumcision, men, eh, women in the New Testament, the blood, it is by faith. Mm, you did not read that part. All you do is just go and do things of But gamba munang was sala can do a sexidim takwad. The first thing about circumcision, you left it out, you threw it out. And you did things. Man initiates things, man's ideology. I hijacked God's things. That is why circumcision to us is being clean, slim to good. Man hijacked God's things and altered everything. Everything you're doing, man put in his ideologies. Now with God, everything is hard. Simplicity? Jesus is his simple. You want to be Jesus' friend? Righteousness, you can't go away. With this is distressing and confusing to ordinary people whose only desire is to experience the reality and abundancy of Christ in their lives. For you, you just want abundance, but your relationship with Christ is not important because they never talk about it. All they say, when you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, even when the gospel continues, you just confess the word. Sickness, you're not my portion. But that sickness is coming back because there is a root cause what you don't want to go too deep to find out. You don't want to go for deliverance. Your family members that you never got to know and there are some who are still keeping the altars on fire. They sit there and claim you all the time. And for you the body is sick. 
Because there is a somewhere the devil gained ground. If it's not the thorn Paul talked about in your foot, there is a ground where the devil gained ground. The devil is using your mouth and gaining ground in your life. The devil uses your eyes and gains ground. The devil uses that part of for you you want power and gains ground and complicates everything that all the time for you you're fighting. So that you can you to love you can you can you can and those are things you don't want to talk about. What you do, people who talk about such things, you hate. And the devil is like, uh-huh, Gwen Kurina, you are my agent now. You think you're in Christ, but in the actual sense, you're working for that devil. You're like, uh, uh let me block them. When I blocked people, the Lord warned me. I was like, huh. When I got mad, eh, you joke around. He's like, you're going to send them the, the friends request. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus. I'm like, they don't need me. Why? He's like, Esther, if you want to work well with me, work well with me, you're going to repent. Whether it is you who fought the door, them, I don't care. What I want is my relationship with you. It's not about them. Now with that, you're like, ah, man, that is too complicated. It is them to apologize. Why apologize? like hey jesus when i obeyed i am the happiest i told you if you want to know that you really really forgive someone laugh with them again the way you used to laugh with them that one will give you the comfort and peace that it's done but before that when you're hiding yourself you cannot attend their things I, I told you I'll use myself as an example. Let me leave other people out of this. If you've ever had an encounter with me, and it was, oh, sweetheart, but now I miss you, I love you, you supported every th little things, whether they are stupid or not stupid, you supported them back in the day, and now you cannot, just know there is a problem. And guess what? God wants to use you on a bigger scale, but you're not going to go anywhere if you still have a spot or wrinkle in your life. To many Christians, uh, that business is not going to go anywhere. You're going to get stuck at a particular level and for you, you think what work. But when I look at you, you're not anywhere near what God wants to do for you. Of course, you built a house. Because God knows if you don't build a house, you run out. And he's like, you can build the house, it's fine. But God wants you to own an estate. That is good. He doesn't want you to have just one small house. Your house is in debt because you borrowed money. Because with you, Jesus is not that simple. You forgot the God in the Bible that fed Elijah at the brook. For it is so hard. The God of Elijah who brought rain. The God of Elijah who brought the fire and it wiped them out. Because your faith is that polluted. Hence with Jesus it's hard. You have to go for a loan. Now you're struggling with the loan. In coronavirus, where are you going to get your loan? Too many Christians are fiercely dogmatic instead of being Christ-centered. They argue about details of doctrine and isolate themselves from their fellow Christians. <laughs> their love for Christ is not big enough to embrace those who differ from them theologically. If you are experiencing spiritual confusion and feel inclined to abandon your faith, step back from all your doubts and uncertainties and look again at the holy simplicity of the living Savior. I told you how I get to know that things are not going well is the way you behave. Your character reports you on a bigger scale. 
and when your character is as wrong as it comes you're not going to even implement your emp because your mindset was fed with things and the devil is seated inside there and they're like esther is against you pastor robert I just look at you like this and I'm like, hmm. I wish you knew how simple it is and uh, the testimonies people have. I am a big testimony. I am a big testimony. You want, I told you if you call that man a liar, add me on the pack. You've worked with me. You know what I can do and what I cannot do. I told you, add, add me on the pack. But because it is not you, Every day I pray to God and I'm like, Lord, everyone has a calling. Everyone has, they have a gift in one way or the other. Lord, I want them to shine wah, 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 so that we can benefit from their gift. And we start hearing them say that. <laughs> Let me tell you, you want, a new government is coming. But whatever you haven't been doing for the current president, even the new one has to go through it. The Bible says we pray for authority. And the people you want to bring back into government, they are still working with the current government. I told you I want Museven off that seat, but with the truth. And those guys who went and abused Pastor Gembe when he's celebrating the president, I did not get to the point. You are as, I don't want to use the word. You have your own candidate. Why is so wrong with you guys? Support your own candidate. Pastor Gembe works with everyone. He brings people in church, celebrates them. What does the president's birthday got to do? With what you guys are going through, I told you most of the problems you have, Uganda, it is us. It is our doing. You're blaming the president, but when I look at you like this, the only difference between you and him, he is in the royal seat. But when I go back and I scan you like this, you were the biggest thief, I know. Simplicity of Jesus Christ. Tell us what you're going to do. Don't show us what Museven has done and not done. That is where you guys are going to miss the Kaluru like that. And you, you're not waking up. You're still blind. Politics. Politics cannot make me defile my Jesus. Politics cannot make me get polluted to that level. You guys the pollution that is moving of sin is lingering like this. And I'm like, why? Politics. When you die, we don't bury you with Museven and your so-called candidates. You go alone. <laughs> I look at you guys, lack of wisdom. Uganda, we are where we are because the wisdom are cool. We love hijacking seasons. We love making mistakes and not, not owning them. And it's all over. Uganda, you were a mother, but you keep spreading your bad manners. You were the pearl of Africa. Because you don't have truth. There is no belt of truth in your waist. You spread it so fast. That people lie about people everywhere. Uganda, you were a pace setter. Because God said, Uganda, mm, you were the pie. You were a precious thing in the eyes of God. But because for you, your job is to lie. Your job is to bad mouth. Your job is to make sure the the seed of hatred grows high and high and higher. Let me tell you something. The Lord has called people to cut off of hatred. We are cutting off sin whether it likes it or not. We will clean up the mess. I was enlisted to do that. 
I send you to the EMP. That EMP, I believe, and I know, it has the right medicine. The Lord enlisted them. They were ordained by God. The baby has to be given birth Magara te magara. Despite his greatness and uniqueness, Jesus lived a simple life. Everything about Jesus is simple. You've complicated you motivational speakers, Yarabi. You borrow things, then you come and lie to us that you have to be smart. And for you, your smartness is the wig, the makeup. Up the shoe. No, you can wake up. You are fine. And that you, 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 you showed up. Or they got to motivating. Now you are to motivating. At two hour day, you come. At two hour, two in a hour, two hour. And you take a picture. Yeah, mama, yeah. On the end, that in a kangi kagua ko. No, you go. When I look at you from head to toe, there's nothing you own. Yavachara. Even to Yambala Via Wade. When you're motivating people, understand the kind of people you're motivating. What works for you does not work for Esther. Tell me that Esther, you need to be smart, but don't dictate how smart I should be. Esther, I come from a home. Where my father is one of the smartest men I know. My mother is a smart woman. You don't joke around. We might not be smart to the level of wearing the wig, high heel, na kuataka sao nami ma. No. Our smartness doesn't need to make noise for everyone to know that we are smart. And when we are smart, it is inside and out. My mother is the smartest wisest woman I know. Many people have benefited from her wisdom because God ordained her, enlisted her to do what we call hospitality, to mentor people. My mother has done that. She might not have gone to school, but she knows that you need to go to a good school. She knows the courses that much. That is the mother that gave birth to me. We don't just come from anywhere. When she speaks, she speaks with wisdom. She may not have the money, but when my mother walks out like this, I'm like, yeah, right. For us, we go to school with our mother. You don't do. That is why I told you, be careful. You are bad manners. Make your mother look stupid. That is why I'm very careful. Those who know me, know me. Not you people who hijack things and just say anything you want without sitting down to ask yourself, why is she quiet? Why is she on her phone all the time? Why did she say this? There must be a reason behind Because my life is a why. I don't just come to tell you something because I want to create KB with you. I am a watchman. I watch But because your mindset has because you're the type who talks about people. Because you do it on a big scale. A thief 
sees a thief because you are the first thief. How, if you're not a thief, how do you know that Pastor Robert is a thief? It is because you know the te te techniques they used to steal. You are the thief. If you don't go monyanja, what you get out here, Apostle Bunja, again, I'm not going to get it come. It is because you yourself. That is how you do things. Because you're dealing witchcraft. And you hide in there. Go single in the Avalobo. If you're clean enough, you have one wife. Why do you condemn those who come to church in Gavakalokok? Pastor told me about Gamba and the Sola Kugamba Kulekam Kazi, Rokuba Taroko, Kanginda Moasa, Oba Bao Nina Jemutwara. Ah, people be honest with me and tell me that Pastor Tom has ever told you to leave your husband or wife when she's a problem because she has refused to get saved. Pastor Tom nurtures you, trains you, and builds your character so that you can work well in your marriage. He said that you don't need a man to change. You have to change and sell the Jesus you have. And that man will automatically have no choice but to get saved. Same thing with the men. But for you, you're fighting. Hey, hey, you see the simplicity of Jesus Christ. It is us failing people in Christ and complicating Jesus. He was at all at home with all kind. During the day you are at the pulpit, at the altar, you are as holy as it comes. But those who have seen you walk, and there are things that have not changed about you. They're like. Kando kwa kere na mbintu vyange. Na ye ngo ya chari ye. Tu vireke. Pastor James Ruwama said. At church all of us are saved. But you find us. Especially where people don't know our manners. Those who don't know our character. Those who have never tested, I have tested people's things and I'm like, <laughs> the way you see my bad manners is the way I've seen your bad manners for years. But because I told you I'm not in the calling or spreading your bad manners, if I've talked about you, hmm? I'm asking the Lord, what do we do? How do I survive the environment? understand you to work well with you i've asked and i'm like before i left uganda the lord made sure i got through a process of having many people in my father's house we've helped people all my life i left my bed and i sleep on the mat until when I got money, I bought a mattress. We've taken time to understand the people we stay with. When I started working, the house had 11 people. We are supposed to be six. Even when I was at the university, when I started 2004, we were more than just six of us in the house. And I was using my university allowance to take care of my family. Now when I look at you and you're saying a lot of words, I'm like, eh, my friend, you don't know who I am. You're not the first one to offer help, which help you're even talking about. The Jesus you believed in is not right. He's that difficult. I told you why I keep teaching about these things. I don't want any other person to make the same mistake because history repeats itself. History repeats it. You hijacked that scripture and Munu is doing a new thing. And I'm like, are you sure the Vikade you're talking about? You complicated the gospel. 
because you never want to despite his greatness and uniqueness jesus lived a simple life he was at home with all kinds of people and they were able to identify with him but for you you talk about everyone you stay with like for you you're there to see everyone's mistake and you forget that you are the biggest mistake maker the world has known i told you hosts be careful before i i was hosted anywhere my, my god made sure i go through a training in my father's house some people even wonder how we we survive that is a ministry that has helped me grow that is a ministry god stands in my father's house like this and makes sure things are in order you don't beat the ministry that has raised me you don't when you do i just walk away because when i start to help you when that is esther when i put my hand like this the only time i let go is when things are good many times my friends send me messages into what and this is season like that or this month it's something serious. But I cannot send my friend a message that what I get the nevisible. Because I have hope in Christ. I give you the little I have so that you survive. Kubanga kati watifo msuja kukuli yao. Nofa. Nazija kaba. Nangena kusuja midiyo. Kuli mochi tebedu. They will abuse me. <laughs> but you, you cannot even give a, a small soap like this. When you give it, the whole village has to know what the Auntie Betty soap. You cannot he was at home with all kinds of people. We have really, really disrespected Christ and failed to represent him right because it's about us all that time. The rest you don't care. I told you vision bearers. Because pastors, people, you have groups. You've, if you know you've made a group, you need to know who is on your group. What are they going through? It is not about you feeding them your idea only or your vision. That is how we represent Christ. We don't represent Christ by showing him that to us are the ones never could be better. That is not how we represent Christ. You showing us that you can pray, you can preach, you can organize an altar, that does not make you the best representative of Christ ever. Never. Those are things you're supposed to do as a must when you're working with Jesus. But representing Jesus, you have failed. You being on the front line all the time, that is not representing Christ. That is your race you have to run as you. We all have our races. But how are you representing Christ with the people you work with? How do you offer your love? For God so loved the world that he gave. That part, Mwaji Jako, Mwina just, I love you. 
Banange Karumba Francis. I love you. Karumba Francis in Yenjalimbu. But in no Mukarakatani in Jiri. The two many of Karumba in an edit that was a MTN. But we want to make sure you attend as a must. If you are told that you to come, but you attend as a must, you don't want. But you want Karumba to attend your things and make sure he attends. But you don't know whether Karumba ate. You don't know whether Karumba's wife is okay. You don't know whether the wife is pregnant or not. You don't know whether Karumba has children. But you want Karumba to attend your things all the time. His well-being doesn't matter. That is the can. <laughs> Why did you preach to Kalumba to get saved? Hey, mama. Let's finish the, the devotion and we go to watch money. There is no time anymore. There are people who come to preach the gospel on social media and they just want people. Nayeva Mulabi. Then you, Banango Mutual Mulamba. Nina Jenagenze, one of your doctors, Omutumi, Ova Apostle, Gadia Yagame. Then you tell people washing and you just share it. And he's laughing. You know, you people don't know, don't know how to write. Your, your handwriting speaks. <laughs> I've gone through the training, I know. That part of the handwriting, he told me, in the Bible, when you go to read the book of who? Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar. Didn't he see a handwriting? Was it his? Mere mere te kerida u farasi. Mene mene te kerida u. The hand of God wrote. You all have a hand to write. But what do you write? What do you write? What you write is very, very... For you, you think you just write for the sake of writing. Your writing speaks louder than anything else. Because God knew if you cannot speak, you can also write and send a message. My poets, be careful with your writing. That hand is not yours. Because I know he told me, I am a lead of a pen. I know. I don't tell you things I just get from space. Experience with God. I share my experience with God. You people who beat experience in Batuno Irani Mbasasi. Now, if I die without sharing my experience with God, Chiamban. I told you I don't want to be a hero. Let me show you. When, when we go to the other class, I'm going to show you. Why do you wait for people to die and call them heroes? Nicholas Mulema bought you a book. <laughs> I will show you the book. <laughs> All you do is just benefiting you. And you say you're representing Jesus. What you write for some of you just sit and write. I'm like, did this person put in an image at all? Oh, they wrote because they have data. Uncle George, it's been a while, my dear. I want to see you live life. Mm. Let us wait for the atmosphere to end because we are still on the atmosphere. When you see Uncle Jojo again live, you're going to see why I am telling you. 
He was at home with all kinds of people and they were able to identify with him. He made the tents of religion understandable to everyone. He showed that the most important commandment is to love God and our neighbor. Who is your one neighbor? Let this be the motivating force of our lives. What, is, what motivates you? Ah, uh, ah, uh, the castanyuma. Loving myself. Oh, now you take the picture. I am loving myself. You go to Sese Islands with your husband at the beach. That is loving myself. Esther loving herself is when she sees that Auntie Betty has date. Auntie Betty has something to eat with the children and the husband. Do you think I don't know that Auntie Betty works? But when Auntie Betty is happy, that makes me happy. Auntie Betty is one of my Sunday... I, I'm left with only two Sunday school teachers. The other people died. She nurtured me well. I am a Sunday school product. I don't just become a Sunday school teacher. I had to go through the training. Some of you hijack things when you haven't gone through them. That is why you don't know how to handle people. It is what it is. The men I am telling you to watch daily, their relationship with God is on another level. They were trained. In the army, you don't join the army when you're not trained. COVID-19 is a training season. Boot camp. And after the boot camp, there is another training you have to go through. I have a friend who recently finished a training. He's an OB. Mango senior still. And I believe now the way he behaves and the way he used to behave before the army are two different things. 40-year-olds, hello. Beloved Savior, my faith in you is strong and simple because it is focused on you alone. Amen. Says the book, you will excuse me briefly. Uh, the internet, my, my other gadgets, I don't know what, what went wrong. I want to excuse myself and come back. You hijacked God's things and you're putting in your ideas. They overcame the devil by the blood, with the blood and the word of their testimony. You guys don't give testimonies. You write the testimonies. Other people give your testimonies. And they don't tell you that they talked about you. I told you if I was in the business, <laughs> if I was in the business of your calling of bad mouthing people, Uganda, you were going to burn. I am telling you the truth. But I am a watchman. I watch. When I hear, I watch and pray. Watch and pray. But for you, when you hear, you hear and spread. Then you come running around when you don't even have the right info. And you are a watchman. I am back, watchman. Mm. The Lord wants a watchman who is steady. Mutukuvya masasinga tuli murutaro mwa watchman. The temple is still lacking things. Oh Lord, help us. Mutkubizama sassi on a big scale watchman. I now try my Jesus. You realize, Lord. My internet is blue, it's acting up. Oh. 
I'm in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh Lord. Okay, let us see if we can listen to this. Oh, Lord. Let me be first. I'm going to excuse myself. Sorry. It keeps on taking me out, but we shall all be fine. We shall all be fine, I tell you. Okay, intercessors, we are back.
Nicholas Molemi, I bought you something. And uh, you will get it. Let me first handle the intercessors and I'll show you what I bought you. <laughs> Prayer direction for Uganda. After God had spoken to me about what he has purposed for long to do in the nation of Uganda, before I read that, I felt it in my spirit. Mm, for you, I don't know what you feel, but in my spirit, I felt this. Let me do it since I felt it. Mm. No money for you, you don't have discernment. I don't know what you feel. Mm. I am sure the Holy Spirit speaks. Mm. Today we are handling intercessors, so let's do it. You know Uganda, your national anthem is a prayer, right? Did you know that? Or oh, you don't? You just sing the song. You go for a function and just sing the song. Here abroad, people who say to Uganda, Pua, Museveni Yabagora, now they are Ugandans because we are in campaigns. They want me to be now. Mm. But when they were going into asylum and rejecting and throwing their passports, they are not Ugandans. But in campaigns, they are Ugandans. Okay. When they sing the song, they wear the Vsuti the Chikoi, and they feel very important. They are also Ugandans, right? Oh. Okay. Oh. E Uganda, Mugi Maricha, Tuaku, Pauja Oeti, Kua Umoja, Nahu to see my name. Shihuru Pendo Juhudi Tuakupa Pamoja Nama Jirani Tutaishi Kwa Lishayo kwa ju arudi ya turatuba tutalinda dia maluru ya tajia Afrika. Oh, Uganda, may God uphold thee. We lay our future in thy hand. United fully for liberty, together we'll always Stand, O oh, Uganda, the land of freedom, our love and labor we give, and with neighbors all at a country's call, calling 
in peace and friendship will live. Uganda's calling is to love people and give labor, not to spread hatred. Oh, Uganda, the land that feeds us by sun and fertile soil grown for our own dear land we will always stand the pile of our free acres of crown i told you stop singing things you don't understand get the meaning of that song it is not the president of uganda that wrote, wrote that song Hence, he doesn't own the song. He's just the president. The, the next president in line has to obey and pray for Uganda daily. The next president for Uganda does not suppose, is not supposed to abuse us. When you are campaigning for a presidency and you are abusing the current government, I am very sorry. You are supposed to be praying for us, the next in line. The next in line is supposed to pray for all the leaders he's going to work with. The next in line, you pray for the president. You don't abuse the president. The next in line. You are next in line for a miracle. This is your time. Arise and be blessed. You don't get any blessing out of abusing the one you succeed, you pray for them so that you pray and uproot whatever is in their seat so that you don't get corrupted. But let me tell you something, that seat is full of hatred. You are going to get the seat. If you're not an intercessor, the next in line, be ready to behave exactly but in another body. You are next in line. I want you guys to sit there and abuse everything that comes with. I told you, the current government is not NRM. NRM is a party in the ruling seat. But the government has everything. Wait a the people you're bringing back in the seat are still in the government. What have they done for us? You are next in line. Wisdom Akuna. <laughs> we are praying for you guys day and night. What do you do in return? Abuse us, right? Right. You are next in line. The current, the next in line. You feel you are the next in line. You feel it in your guts. Every seed you have planted when Moseven is on the seat, you're going to rip it. Rip it. I said, rip. <laughs> did you watch my deal? Why did I get married? Not to that one. The mad, the dare of a mad black woman. My dear took her granddaughter. Had she's a niece actually, I think. Took her back to the house where the man threw her out. And for her, she's like they are going to know who we are. Brought Kamashina, Kasali Mitina Sali Kevin. Now I'm gonna quote go your woman cause you won't know I rip it. I said rip not rip to tear. But to reap, when you sow a seed, you're going to eat the, f the fruits of that seed. I am telling you the truth. Those who feel that you're next in line, me, I hate politics because it's played by dirty players. You don't have the belt of truth. Now, people in church, you hijacked the kalada of politics, be ready. Because it comes with lying and it's like this. And if you're not grounded and rooted in the Lord, 
trust him, you're going to come out a liar too. Twa vidava sigwa so se. Hence, make sure you attend the EMP I left here as a must. Because you're going to come out going on ikona ama yende. Because when Moses left, Joshua had to be higher than day Moses. Joshua's relationship with God made him survive. And it's only Joshua and Caleb that entered the promised land. Because his relationship was grounded in the Lord. Now I, find, I look at you guys who are in the Lord and you're hijacking the political ground. Most of you, when I look at you like this, the things you do, I see them through your character. Then I'm like, relationship with Christ? <laughs> if you open your mouth to abuse anything, instead of telling us what, instead of you praying, actually, if I was you, I would be praying for the current government every day. And I'm like, Lord, meet their hearts. Lord, change their hearts. That is how we plant seeds intercessors. Lord, intervene, protect them, keep their families. That is how we chase them out of the seat. That is how you clap your hands and thank God for them. You sing and praise the Lord for them. Thank God for all the things they were able to do. Thank God for the peace in the country. You have not had a duka duka apart from the one you created yourself. But that, you, and you're not looking at that. Uh, tumukoj. Hey, tumukoj. Intercessors, let's check it out. After God had spoken to me about what he has purposed for long to do in the nation of Uganda. I told you if you want to seven out. 21 days maximum praise and worship. You yourself, you cannot sustain even two hours. Then when I look at you and I'm like, I can't go to the next one, I can't go to the next one. Give me seven, 21 days of praise and worship non-stop. You have singers. 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 Those guys can praise and worship as they can spend the whole night. You have to say, 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 you have to praise and worship. I want you to take them for praise and worship at the state house. 21 days max. Because I don't think in any believer now as a soul. That will, will take him seven out of the seat. That business you sit there and shout, shout and make noise. It's not going to take him out of the seat. It is actually going to strengthen him on the seat. Watch and see. I watch and pray. <laughs> You want him seven out of the seat. The Bible. Prayers are life there. Righteousness, availability, and originality. Museven will be out tomorrow. But because you cannot handle that. <laughs> I didn't see anyone to run to for counsel. Not because in Uganda or in the body of Christ. There were not men and women of God. But what the Lord required was beyond my human imagination. Dr. Melinda writing. When I looked at this, I discovered that there was nowhere to turn for counsel. So I turned to the Lord for direction. And when I asked him, Father, why do you say Uganda is not ready for what you have purpose to do through it in these end times? He answered me and said, Uganda must humble herself and pray now and forsake her wicked ways and seek my face you guys hijacked the scripture when you didn't even read the book i told you 2018 i was sitting and he asked me do you know righteousness 2018 in november I looked around to see whether I am speaking to someone. And I don't know why the Lord loves speaking to us when we are alone. And you don't have evidence and people are going to say, you're lying. And I'm like, you know what? Lately, whether I am lying or not, <laughs> at the end of the day, if you think I am lying, also call him and he speaks to you the same thing. 
because you have no spirit of discernment you wear the you you are you, because you have no belt of truth you you think everyone is like that <laughs> you better go for the classes as a must and you will hear god speak on a bigger scale you hijacked it when we had locusts i saw you using the scripture and i'm like ha huh, ha huh, uganda And then will I hear from heaven and come down and heal the land. Uganda, the only medicine you have is in Second Chronicles 7.14. The entire world has to go through Second Chronicles and 14. The entire world. For God to come down. And guess what? God is already down. But when I look at things, he's just passing you by. Son of David, son of David, pass me not. He's around. I told you. Apostle Honjo tampered with the divine encounter. He scratched it like this. Because it's something they used to do way back. And in coronavirus they touched the hem of God's garment and he came down through the divine encounter, 3rd of June. I told you, did you miss the atmosphere? When the prices go up, God comes down on a bigger scale. But God is not going to enter your house when, whenever he looks like this. You are dirty. That house of yours, you're in alone. I am telling the temple. He's looking for a place to set up. But you keep chasing him out. Much you, you chased him out of your churches and your WhatsApp groups. He's now moving with the men. We have Bombo Barracks. And the Bombo Barracks, with or without, they have to go on TV. God stayed. In the men and women he's telling us to watch. Daily. The rest are helping the baby to grow outside the womb. But those men and women carry God in coronavirus and they are to lead us out. And those who come from those churches, my thing. But guess what? It is the relationship between Pastor Robert and God. The relationship between Apostle Bonjo and God. The relationship between Apostle Chimoli. The relationship between Go Nation, Dr. Mlindi. The relationship between Pastor Ben Ochola and God. The relationship between Auntie Mo and her husband. Those ones are too. Like they are mentioned it too. The other people come with their houses because it is a family altar. But Auntie Mo is specific, handles your body. You're not doing exercise with her. Okay. Pastor Mark handles counseling on a big scale. The teacher, relationship, Dr. Reverend Musa Ture. Archbishop Duncan Williams, Pastor Tom Mugirua. He's the big house, the rest are officers inside there. Tampa, Florida, Rodney, Pastor. He's the big house. Never give up, Kansanga. Yeah, Pastor Chiwewe is the big house. Never give up his house by Kansanga. Push his house by Bunjoville and the entire CM is housed by Bombo, the barracks. You don't, you know. Okay. Go and attend Apostle Chimuli's classes. You will know what I'm talking about. The spirit of discernment. But there is no way you're going to discern in nothing when you don't carry the presence of the Holy Spirit. Neither will you understand the class of consecration when the Holy Spirit is not with you. That is a lie. Even when a push speaks and he says the Lord is going to heal you in just a few minutes now, you will not get healed. All you will hear are lies. Why? 
you're full of Uganda Waraji. You're full of the other spirits. You're full of the jinn spirit. You're full of gilbies. You're full of whatever comes with the spirit. Anything that carries a spirit is what you're full of, but not the Holy Spirit. Hence, when your Pastor Robert says miracle, all you hear are lies. Because there is no personal relationship. Pastor Robert is just a lead, but you have your own race. It is you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and walk right with Jesus. And even before you walk right with Jesus, a miracle just happens. That is the Jesus I'm talking about. But in coronavirus, you have to stretch and touch the hem. Hence, it should stop being about you, but about Christ. And with Christ, availability, righteousness, righteousness. For you, you just want to get and leave. Uh -uh. You have to be available for Christ too. Before coronavirus, you just get and take off. Coronavirus after? Uh -huh. Nothing is for free. You have to pay the price. Can't even know which price. Walking right with Jesus. Mm. You can mobilize others to pray. As Ugandans, we should endeavor to see that throughout our nation, in every local community, there is a small group of people praying and fasting continuously for the nation, not for your ourselves. In coronavirus, we pray for the nation. Now you are the person, you are the seed. Oh, to let to let to you became a seed in coronavirus. You did not know. Okay. Jesus came as a seed of God's kingdom into the world thousands of years ago. But for you, all you want is to gain out of it and walk away. You don't want to be a sacrifice. A seed is sacrificed, and there is no seed that grows without rotting. That is the process people hate. Jesus had to rot, had to die, had to be humiliated for the seed to grow and bear fruit. You don't like that part. How? And you're also a seed. Okay. Of God's kingdom into the world, thousand. You are an intercessor, the class is yours. A seed of God's kingdom into the world, thousand, thousands of years ago. And today, we, and now it is not for just one person. All of us are supposed to pray. All of us. Because we are getting out of coronavirus, all of us. But because you're too selfish, all you want is your small family to get out. The rest are useless. Randomly. Okay. That's why you don't have a heart for people. For you, it's about your thing to grow. Others don't care about their own callings. Nurturing other people is a problem. So long as your altar, your church, your business is up there, and we get awards. March ticket, Esther and companies, they were seeing them coronavirus. Mm, they are awarded. Mm. Now, you have a gun, you have some righteousness and repentance. That one, huh? That one, there is no crown. Phew. Yes, when he was going back, Jesus said, As my father sent to me, so do I send you. Okay. I want to remind you that you are a seed in your vicinity. A seed of what? Seeds of love. My friend who died left seeds of love. He was a starter. He would collect people, but all he gave them 
was the seeds of love. I know for a fact because all I got from him was love. He loved me, visited me. I know what it means for someone to visit even if they don't come with food. But that part of someone visiting you, that part of someone calling you just to find out how you are, when they tell me about their Jesus, I have no choice but to believe. Lord, I believe. When that person prays for me, I just know I have the assurance Jesus is going to answer back. Why? Because they do it with love. The love of giving back, not the love of our selfishness. I hear I show you that I love you by attending your church. Mm. By attending your altars, that is when I show you that I love you, I believe in you. Mm. By attending your things, right? Okay. When you're not a seed of, a seed of praying your people, God is raising an army of intercessors. His word to us is that we institute prayer all over the nation until the whole nation shall be ablaze with prayer and intercession. Stop reading things you cannot do. I know many people have this book, but it has not worked in any way. But they have the book anyway. You are the seed in what way? Remember in your village, there are other Christians. Get down on your knees and immediately begin to fast and pray for them. As you do the, this, this, pray that the Lord will touch the hearts of the people around you and move them towards what he is calling the nation to do. Pray and fast so that the fire of travailing prayer and intercession will touch more and more souls. And then with time, go out and share the burden with someone. Everyone can help raise a prayer altar. But your prayer altars are about getting rich. They are not about the nation, us getting out of COVID-19. They are about yourselves. If I'm lying, type it there. I attend your things and I hear you when you're praying. I am the type. In the world of your instructions, don't look around. But when I hear you pray, and I go back and I, I'm like, Lord, the intercessor, and that's him to get the Basically, for you guys are praying for yourselves to get out. The marrieds are doing it for themselves. Those who are not married are doing it for themselves. Everyone is praying to be up there. But you're not praying for us to get out all of us as a nation. You're not. Okay. For you, it's about your thing. Kastachikula, abantumibajani, babalaba, ebisigadicho yagala kumo. Okay. Watch me. Today's watch is at 12 to 3 a.m. Third watch of the night. Pray from 11.45 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. No, pray from 11.45 p.m. Then 12.15 a.m. You end, the other watch ends at 11.45. The next watch will begin at 12.15 a.m. This is the major time witches make sacrifices and convenancy. I told you on Wednesday they got rest. This is the time you find many evil activities going on. People die at 3 a.m. Mama, yake. Because for you, you're sleeping, then the devil comes and snatches the people while you are in your sleep. Church, you're sleeping. Yet the, the psalm says, he never sleeps, he never slumbers. Psalms 100 and what? 21.
this is the time you find many evil activities going on in the land so we we as watchmen have to see how we we can keep watching and controlling the gates so that god's presence can remain in the land at your gate there is nothing for you you at the gate you're like and the people i'm praying for don't even care about me they don't love me they beat me mm -hmm. that is why those who are called to be watchmen the lord has trained them to love people whether they love them or not it's not their problem i was enlisted as a watchman i don't just tie myself there mm -mm. i've gone through a training since i was in my mother's womb we've been praying Kabawa redeemed Tuesday was always prayer day. Then we have to clean church. I, I think cleaning church was over Monday or other Saturday. We would clean church with my mom and others who would come when they are able to. But there was a time it was only me and my mother. That is why me cleaning is not my problem. It's a training thing. I don't do things for just it. Ah, ah. I've grown up doing these things. I don't do for sure. I don't showcase myself. That's why I don't fight for position. I already have a position. Why fight for it? It is only obvious. I just fit myself in my own position. There was a time I was fitting, fitting everywhere so that Munang I work well with his view, but you never understood me, so I'm like, eh. Hey. Mm -mm. I'm too important to start fixing, fixing myself everywhere. Let me fix myself in my right position so that I am more happy than anything else. Winding up. So we as watchmen have to see how we keep, can keep watching and controlling the gates so that God's presence can remain in the land. Read aloud Psalms 117. When I was fixing, fixing myself, I was working on your time clock. I stopped that. I don't watch. I, when I obey watch the first pa person I'm supposed to watch, I told me never start when that person has not yet started. I'm like, okay. I wait for the person, then I continue. That is Esther obeying instructions. Psalms 117, all praise the Lord, all ye nations praise him, all you people, for this, for his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise ye the Lord. That is King James uh, Amplified. All praise the Lord, all you nations praise him, all who you people. For his loving kindness prevails over us and we triumph and overcome through him. And the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise everything is a praise. Why do you say praise the Lord? Or oh, to you it is just, it is a way of greeting when you are saved. <laughs> That is why it, it doesn't work for you. People who understand what they are doing, they don't do it for the sake of doing it. Our local are only two religious. Praise the Lord. When you say praise the Lord, the praises go up and he comes down. But for you, because it's a religion, it became a greeting the way I would say, Hello, Esther, how are you? Whether I'm fine or not, I'll say I'm fine. Because that's how it is. But me with the friends who know me, when I'm not fine, I'm not fine, period. I don't pretend. 
If you can't put up with that, I'm done. Because you're going to think I'm fine all the time, instead of telling you to munango wa take a bed. Then I die with the pain whenever I see you, I'm fine, I'm fine. When I'm rotting, yet you have the medicine. Oh Lord, have mercy, Auntie Mo got the medicine of things that used to disturb me back in that day. Whew. Auntie Mo, may the Lord bless you, help them please, help them more. Mm. Because I struggled from age six. The devil is a liar. And when I came to the U.S., the disease disappeared. <laughs> now you're going to say, hey, children are going to America again. No, it's not that. When God wants to use you on a bigger scale, he starts working on your system slowly but sure. You don't rush God. I applied these things and they did not work. Infections? Auntie Mo, people don't speak the truth out there, but people are itching because most of them move out and sleep, sleep around. Then we use the bathrooms. Those are things they don't talk about on TV, Baswaza, yet they are dying in there. Kids are itching, married people are itching, people are itching, <laughs> itching ears. Now the other itching is eh, something else. That is why I told you, married men, please stick to one wife. Mm. You're going to itch. Mm. The kids go to the to school. Please teach them to have sanitizer. Sanitizer is not for only hands. Deto. Oma na mkulide yuka deto nga kenda kusomera. But now, even if you have one panty, wash it. Wash it. Jiteke kuhanga kumpine sigi. And praise the Lord. Please help your friends. They have one panty like this. They cannot afford. But how would you know when you don't check on people, Masim? And you are a watchman. All you, you're doing to us is selling us things when you can't even afford. Do you know what brings itching? In, 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 in kids who don't sleep around. The dirty bathrooms they use. Then having one panty like this was in the... Be, before you hijack the president of Ayambe, why can't you help yourself? Mm -hmm. Government you You with all that money you have. But you and the president now, the difference I think is a zero. If you think the president in Kodo, now we to Gavi. But the president has the entire nation to look after. Manage muture came. They must strike in Gambu Nurukuba Mama Chenet Kataha Tava what they pads. And I look at you and I'm like, even Nange women. You also have money. Start a drive. Why wait for the president and his family? Mm. You think the current, the next in line is going to be able to do all those things? You are joking. Some people do those things, Baba Labe. When they get there, they also make themselves rich. I know. I worked with most of them. They don't do their job. They eat the money. The president releases money. It is not actually the president. They have a committee that sits and they release the money. Where does it go? That money goes into all the parties that are in the ruling government. What are you talking about? Because you are a liar, 311. I'm waiting for next in line. To gain the kukarakata, we next in line. Say go to Karakata. Fet to gain the kukarakata. We are going to check you out. To go to the kukwambule, to go to the So that you don't end up like the current government. Gwe gwa dako gwe nek familia yomu genda tuulida. Mba sekere denze gwe murago. 
watch man i watch and pray Hey, next guy in the government it's my next in it i'm worried you think it's a joke until you learn to respect people give them a benefit of doubt understand them i am still here i am writing for a radio friend even the president needs radio friends they eat money together they come out in the day and they move up up if i want to inch and praise the lord exalting him above all watchmen to the hour the third this the hour that happens when on the third hour watch out read exodus because the watchman you also bad mouth in the president in jaino before you pray for him muso kwa kuyomba baba nyakole and i'm like oh lord have mercy we are here to pray now mm -hmm. how will the prayers go up when we first abuse the president mm -hmm. how will the prayers go up when i first abuse my parents how will the prayers go up when I first abuse the women on the village? Mm -hmm. I first bad mouth them, then I'm also coming to watch. <laughs> the devil is grain, gaining ground. Those are things they don't talk about in church. They don't hey, ask them. They know me proper. I'm rebellious. I accepted to be a rebel. Ah, Georgia. Read Exodus 15. Finishing. Chocho, rebel. Tori we come say now can be rebel. Jojo ye ya mita andika rebel. Sinyeze. Jojo na can be rebel. When you do things in church, I don't understand. I become a rebel. I now accept I am rebellious. When you are rebellious, you become a rebel. Mm, I accept. Until in church, you change things. Now I accept. You can call me all you want. I accept to be a rebel. Exodus 15. Mm -mm. She. Then on. Exodus 15 verse 1 to 19 and proclaim the victory. That one you'll read on your own. But I can start a few scriptures and we know what is it is saying. Uh, read Exodus 15 1 to 19 and proclaim the victory of the Lord over the works of the enemy and the pursuits of the enemy in the day. Pray as the Spirit leads in other areas. Then Moses the and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord singing. When we're going to praise and worship, you cut it short. Mono, there is no time. And now we are in coronavirus. We have all the time in the world. Because before corona, you did not have time for God. You're looking for money. We are in coronavirus. Let me read the whole of it. Then Moses said, Your money has not helped us in coronavirus at all. Like nothing. Nada. And you want more so that you become rich. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord singing, I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation. This is my God and I will praise him. My father's God, I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he has thrown into the sea. His chosen captives are drawn in the Red Sea. Now where there is a Pharaoh put Corona? What are you talking about? Remove those in the Bible. Put yourself in the script. I told you. Those guys in the script died. Put yourself in the script. Then, then Moses put your name and then put the children of Israel. Put ye. Israel is still there. By the <laughs> so be careful. Uganda is supposed to pay for Israel. What happened? Watch many stop doing things instead of it. 
we are going to see in the the deep water covers them glad in armor they sank into the depths like a stone your right hand oh lord is glorious in power your right hand oh lord shatters the enemy coronavirus and you coronavirus enemy not so not so yes in the greatness of your majesty you overthrow and unheal and those adversaries who rise in rebellion against you i'm using amplified these things don't are not appearing in your bible so don't get scared it is amplified version you send out your fury and it consumes them like chaff coronavirus when jesus is coming to consume with the blast of your nostrils and the waters piled up Corona, you're going to be washed out. The flowing waters stood up like a mound. The, 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 the deeps were co coagulated in the heart of the sea. Corona, you're getting out. The army said they were singing. I don't know the song, but I know the words. I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil of coronavirus. You have to go in Jesus. My desire shall be satisfied against them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall dispossess them and drive coronavirus out. You blew with your wind and the sea covered. Coronavirus, the sea will cover you. Mm. Clad in armor, they sunk like lead in the mighty waters. Corona, you are going to sink. Who is like you among the gods, O oh Lord? Who is like you? Majesty in holiness. Majesty. Worship his majesty. Hmm? Assuming splendor, working wonders. An awesome in splendor, working wonders. You stretched out your right hand. The sea swallowed them. You think Corona cannot be swallowed? Hey, you in your loving kindness and goodness have led the people whom you have redeemed, O oh Lord. In your strength, you have guided them with care to your holy habitation. The people's the peoples have heard about you, Jesus. They tremble. When they heard about you, they trembled. Anguish and fear has gripped the inhabitants of, of Philistia. Then the tribal chiefs of Edom were dismayed and horrified. The mighty leaders of Moab tremble in groups. A he greets them. All the inhabitants of Canaan have melted away in despair. Watch man. Read the, the psalm and they start worshiping God. They started singing. Terror and dread. This is how they were. How do you glorify God? Oh my God. Terror and dread fall on them. They were, they were worshipping God. They were praising God, telling him the things he had done. But for you, oh, instead of telling him and telling him the things he has done, you're crying and you're like, Lord, you brought corona on us. Until the people pass by whom you have purchased, you will bring them into the land to, of promise and plant them on the mountain. Mount Moriah in Jerusalem of your inheritance, the place, O oh Lord, have you made for your dwelling among them, the sanctuary, O oh Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord shall reign to eternity and beyond. For the horses of Pharaoh went with his war chariots and his chariots. The, you see, we fail to understand the Bible. We call it history because we fail to appreciate God in our lives and the things he's done for us.
We are going to pray. Worshippers, you are an intercessor and you are a worshipper. Are you taking us to the altar? Or you're driving us away from the altar? Watchmen, it is time to wake up and do things right. Pray right. When you intercessor, you need to understand who enlisted you. You need to know who enlisted you and what he wants for you to be hard when you pray. I'm going to pray for those who are sick, not Corona. We have people with coronic diseases. Corona, Corona. Eh. We pray for all of them. You pray your side too, you have family members who are sick, you have uh, friends who are sick, use them as a point of contact. Because uh, it is very hard to serve God when you're sick. I was very happy to see Mukasa's father back on feet. It's been so hard for him because he eating is a problem. When I saw the pictures, I know God is in control. I'll use him as a point of contact. God will heal him. He's not going to die in coronavirus. Mm -mm. He's not a celebrity. Celebrity is dying in the COVID-19. He's only going to go when his time is up. When the Lord is like, welcome my son. But before that, we are still with Father. Tad, we still with him. He is a media personnel. He's a, a musician. A fool lady. He cannot do that now because cancer is affecting. Cancer has to die in coronavirus. Whether it likes it or not. Pray that side. You have someone sick, use them as a point of contact to pray for other people. Some have corona and it's getting out of hand because the way at which it's spreading, the environment is weird. America is going through a hard season. Yesterday there was a, a storm in Mississippi, the Arctic fell in. The fires in California, it is the second world largest fire. But if you guys have been following Dr. Mulinde, the Lord told him about America in 1996, they never listened. And things have unveiled so fast. 
I tell you follow and you hmm okay me and I me I do my part the rest is history America what America is going through the Lord told Dr. Mulindi years back they never listen but there's power that's how we all look like they are telling you this but for you mm -mm. oh yeah I got a quite jacking a ministry at all Those who said that Pastor Robert wants to take over your churches, you're still saying the same thing. And he has never gone back down. He's going up every day like this. Because his relationship with Jesus is very strong. No one can break it. And you guys are struggling. You are more funny enough. For him, he's not struggling. For you guys are struggling so bad. The Lord has given you pesetas, starters. Those who operate on original who don't fight for power but you cannot listen you had better go down go down kakana when you humble yourselves in prayer the lord is going to move if you put that emp in play uganda humble yourself the other nations have no choice but to follow we are the power of Africa. guys are selfish you don't care about people all you want is to get out of the yard pastor please welcome the man or woman or girl when people are dying every day you want them out with bad temples it's only selfish people who want people to get out when things are not yet okay. But people who are not selfish, they will make sure that EMP is implemented. I told you I stopped playing around with you. You guys thought it was a joke. I stopped the games. I leave the message, you equip yourself. Because the auditor is coming anytime soon, the chief auditor, you're going to lose your licenses. You're joking. But you will not lose it because you gave it to yourself. Because he never sent you. But you will see. The calling is still on. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, I thank you for this time. I thank you for your love, Lord. I thank you for your guidance, my master. There is no one like you. I thank you for today's class. It had a lot of disturbance, but you've been faithful. You've come through for, for us, Lord. Continue to speak with us. Lord, as we attend the men and women we are supposed to attend as a must continue to speak with us lord i pray for the nations to humble themselves to humble themselves because you said in your word if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves seek my face crave as a necessity, crave and require as a necessity. Turn away from our wicked ways. You will hear from heaven. Forgive our sins and heal our land. Lord, all you want from us is us humbling ourselves and understand we made a mistake and repent. Lord, open the eyes of men and women to know what you want. Because we've worked with you for years, but it's all about what we want. Like we hijacked your place. 
when people come to see God, they see men and women of God. They don't see they are God. All we see is what you've done for them, but we don't see the God who has done it. All we see, we come out and they're like, ah, those are much changed to the obvious. Men and women have failed to show they are God. They are showing their things God has done for them and they forget the one who gives. Because we cannot see ourselves walking right to make the one who enlisted us happy. That is why we failed many times, Lord, and forgive us. We are in our fame and rising in our fame, yet the relationship with you is dying daily. Lord, intervene and help us, business people, motivational speakers, leaders, those who are in, in church and those who are outside church. Lord, intervene. Visit those in the mosque, those in the Catholic sector, those who, Lord, visit. Because when Corona came, it visited, knocked everywhere, destroying everything. Lord, I... I call the Holy Spirit to go. I send the Holy Spirit in every house. Because everyone has a house. Visit your people, Lord, and speak to them on a personal level. Because we need a personal relationship with you. Father, I pray for every man and woman who is sick out there. Those suffering of COVID-19 the virus, and those who are struggling and suffering with coronic diseases. Lord, standing in the gap from Kasa's father, Senior Luama. Lord, I have seen you heal people. Let your healing hand touch him, touch his throat, touch the crown of his head to the heel of his foot. He's an influence in society. He's a man who has been in the, in the media fraternity for years. He has raised people. Lord, he has raised people in the church and people in the media fraternity. He multiplied himself and now we are benefiting from his children. We are benefiting from the other people. Google the TV has people that have worked with him. Lord, intervene and heal. Touch him and heal him, Lord. Every man and woman out there who is struggling because of cancer, may the healing hand touch. Through the blood of Jesus, we flush out every trace of cancer out of your bones out of your blood, out of your skin, out of your entire system. I pray for healing. I plead the blood of Jesus over every man and woman who is sick, diabetes, those with HIV, those with coronavirus, those with any other coronic disease. Lord, heal and touch. Father, provide. For you say in your word, you'll supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. Provide, Lord, the money they need. Father, with the doctors, they do their part, but healing completely is yours. Every medication anyone is taking, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over it. You are the healer. Father, heal them. I pray for peace. During the hard days, I pray for peace, love, and understanding. Father, I pray that you help us understand how to use the body you gave us. We hijacked it and it became ours, so we do anything we want with it. When you come, you don't have where to sit because the temple is full of ourselves. Mm. And we forget the part that there is God we represent, there is Jesus we represent, and he has nowhere to sit. Even in our houses, he's no longer there because all we, what we became is omuzizo. Like we are so polluted that you have nowhere to sit. But Father, tonight, cleanse us, wash us with your blood and consecrate us afresh. We are yours, Lord. 
you gave us the authority to be your children. Father, even after the life, help us continue in prayer and intercession for the nations. Heal our land, Lord, and teach us how to humble ourselves and we turn away from our wicked ways for our land to be healed because you will hear from heaven and heal the land. I plead the blood of Jesus over every man and woman those who came to the front and those who stay in Kamoni and watch from there, those who keep popping in and out, bless them. And those who will watch 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now until Jesus comes back, Lord, let your healing hand intervene. Deliverance is food to your children, those who are called children of God. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. Thank you, my master. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I give you praise, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus. Enlarge. May the Lord enlarge your territories and your camps. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen. Please continue in prayer. Prayer as a lifestyle. Pastor Ben is going to come at 10 p.m. Ugandan time. It is coming to 7 p.m. Make sure you attend every other thing that falls in the EMP as a must. Because if I come to pluck it out, I will come with blood, I'm telling you. So you had better do it yourself. And you pluck it out slowly. Because if I come to pluck it out, you are in trouble. The hair in the nose. Run your own race. Follow instructions and obey them. If you want to get out of coronavirus alive and safe and happy, obey instructions. Have a lovely day. I'm always humbled when you come. Your data, your time, I don't take it for granted. We're taking Bombo to TV, but we, you, for it, you, you, you save money. We are doubling the 500 coin. With push, Zorina Zorita. Because we need the truck out. And we are going into the celebration thanking the Lord. Hey, do you think it is easy? Four years. Entering the fifth year. You joke. Oh. The fifth year. It has been God, I am telling you. 2016 September the 18th. To 2020 September. Do the math and you'll know how many years 77 has been running. Which other church has sustained their thing like that? And for you, you want to climb ladders. You can copy and paste, but copy the right thing. I told you, only go up the UV line when you have the scaffolds. Because what happens to you on the UV line when you're not a woman and you're not qualified because in a woman we have distribution, we have transmission, and we have production. May the Lord bless you. Have a lovely day. I love you. Never give up. Is there the, 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 all of them are there. Make sure you attend. And make sure you attend also your daily things because they help the baby grow. But in COVID-19, I think I'll attend you more. I know what I attend and what I don't attend. Mm. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.